Whoa, wait a second here. So I did that wrong. Uh-oh. What? It's all gritty. I'm Denise. And I'm Marcel. Hey guys, welcome to our homestead. Yeah, welcome to our homestead. If you guys don't already know, we're a small family that moved from the big city, Denver, Colorado, to rural America to start our homestead. Yeah, welcome guys. Yeah, part of that guys is building a home. Mm -hmm. And that's what we are on today. Yeah, we are. Previously guys, we buried our electrical. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That and was then pretty we, interesting. And then we survived the eclipse. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. So I painted the wall. Mm -hmm. And today is huge for us. We're moving right into it, guys. We are not trying to waste time, but it's taking longer than I thought. So the couple days, out the door. Calling it a few days. Maybe even soon. But we will have electrical in our house. All right, so we have been taking a lot of steps in order to get right where we are today. Um, a lot of preparation has been in place for this moment. This is a huge moment, you guys. <laughs> I'm not arguing. What do you want me to say? Yeah, you're excited about it too. I mean, come on now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, guys. All right. I mean, how could I not be excited? We got in the house. Now we need to start hooking things up. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. This is this is called connecting the dots. You know what I mean? Have you ever done dot to dot? <laughs> or a treasure map? You know what mm, I mean? That's where we're at. Yeah. That's where we're at, yeah. guys. So we just doing the next dot right now. Right. And it's huge for us mm -hmm. because we're also learning at the same time. So with all the research that we put in place, we are ready to move on to this next step and we're ready to get started today. It is a beautiful morning here on the homestead. Everything is blooming, you guys. Yeah. It feels like spring. I don't know about beautiful, guys. It's rainy and it's cloudy, but the, the land is beautiful. It's green and white flowers, mm -hmm. but it's muggy. It's not too hot. It's not too cold. Right. It's just, you're, I'm drinking my air right now, guys. <laughs> I'm drinking my air. Mm -hmm. That's okay, though, because I'll take it, because it's been super cold. So I'll take this. I love it. And I don't have to water the trees, guys, because it's going to do it organically. How about that? Yeah, I think everything needs a drink around here. Yeah, agreed. All right, well... Hopefully there's no water involved with what we're doing today because that would be bad, terrible. Yeah, <laughs> they, they do not recommend wiring your electrical panel underwater. So if anybody tells you that they're an underwater electrician, I don't know, there might be some sort of a thing like that. <laughs> there's wires down there too, guys, I don't know. I'm just yeah. talking out my neck. Yeah, all right, you guys, let's go jump into getting this stuff lined up for today yeah. and see what we're up against. Yeah, it's all inside work today, guys. All right, let's go. Let's go. You know what I'm saying? All right, this is what we're gonna do, guys. Baby Cake's gonna hide behind the camera. She won't stand beside me just in case I say something stupid. <laughs> All right, so we've lined up center of the hole, guys. Center of the hole up there where it came in. We we're going to dry, try to hit that panel center of that hole so it makes it easy for the conduit and everything else to be straight. I don't have to mess around fighting it and stuff. So I did some research. I found out that the dimension, the height, has a minimum height for the top of a, of a breaker panel or a sub panel. Okay. 
So we have measured that measurement out, right? And I'm going to cut it at the very, very minimum. Just in case I decide I wanna put flooring down here, I can always move up, right? But I can't ever make any changes coming back down. So we're gonna stay at the minimum. And if I make a change and I'll, whoop. If I make a change, guys, then I will make that change by going up, yeah? All right, so what I'm gonna do, guys, I found my top center. Yeah, right there. Dang! We got a slotted hole right here. I'm gonna find that from the top center. I'm gonna find what that measurement is. I already did that, guys. It's two and a half inches. So I'm gonna measure from top center down two and a half inches, guys, on that line right there, and I'm gonna drill my first hole. And I'll always leave that screw in there. It's like a hanger so that you could take all the other screws out to remove this thing and then unhang it. So when you take the screws out, it don't just fall, right? Does that make sense? I hope it makes sense, guys. I really hope it makes sense because it usually ends up costing me dollars in the end if it didn't make sense in the beginning. Two and a half inches, they say. Two and a half inches. If I pre-drill this hole right here and set one of my screws, this should be the top center of my panel. And we will have our perfect measurement. What is that measurement? If you guys know what it is, put it in the comments down below. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, guys. I really like those. You know what I'm saying? Or somebody said something about, I don't feel good about it because it was some of the other stuff, right? I think you could do thumbs down too. You know what I'm saying? So there's like a huge mess going on right now and I just wanted to tell you guys that it's driving me nuts that it looks like this in here. What is going on? Can somebody please tell me, does your husband make huge messes like this? Or do you make big messes like this? Husband, wife. Whoever. What? My best advice is don't gossip. <laughs> There's no need to gossip. That's bringing up old stuff, guys. She act like I'm the only one that makes a mess around here. The dogs keep losing hair everywhere. <laughs> yes, you are the culprit of other messes. That's right. There it is, baby cakes. You ready? Ready to see this go up for the first time? Probably not for the last time, though. No. Somebody's probably gonna be like, you can't do that. And I'll be like, wait a second, you just totally watch me do it. You mean I can't do that and be right? Maybe. That is it right there, y'all. How about that, y'all? <laughs> Just in case you didn't know, I taught him how to say y'all. He's been having a hard time with it since the beginning of time, you guys. <laughs> y'all. Y'all. <laughs> Whoa, wait a second here. So I did that wrong. Uh-oh. What? What did you do wrong? Something tells me I added more inches than I should have. Dang. I said it was two and a half, right? Mm-hmm. You did. Let me just verify a few things. I have to check with some people about some stuff. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Hey, first of all, it's only supposed to be an inch and a half. So that was just my test run, guys. That was just, I wanted to test the durability of our concrete. 
Is this one of those situations where if it doesn't make sense, it's going to cost us? I don't know. How would I know that? This is my first time. <laughs> it feels like the first time. You ready? Okay. Now yeah. we're going to do it right. Because I said one and a half. I said two and a half. And I was on that. That was I was on that, guys. I was on it. Completely wrong, but perfect. So inch and a half, we say... This is going to help me be where I'm supposed to be. Guys, imagine I seen that much. What in the world? <laughs> so, oh no. Yeah, I feel I'm kind of ashamed actually. Damn. My ego, my ego has gotten me. Your ego? Yes, my ego vision. It was so much fun, I wanted to do it a second time anyways. You know what I mean? <laughs> now it's not the first time, it's the second time. All right. Let's try this again. It feels like the second time. I don't think that's a song. It is now. I will be drilling those holes deeper for the next ones. Because mm -hmm. it just ends too quickly. But it's good for the hanger. It's perfect for the hanger. Why are we going to be spacing a bit, you ask? Because, for one, I pushed all the slop of the block to the inside of the house. That means we've got some dimensional differences here. So I'm going to shim the panel off the wall just a little wee bit. Right? Plus I didn't want it up against the wall entirely flat up against it because the transfer of like temperatures and stuff like that. So it's gonna be just barely, barely off the wall. There it is. You know what's really nice about doing it the second time? Usually you get it right. Because if you didn't, then you'd be doing it a third time. You know what I mean? Or you just give up. Come on, man, look at that right there. There, I'll just show you. Bam, we're on our line. That's right. That's money, that's money all day long. Cost me money, believe that. Right. Hangs nice and centered. You know what that means? I'm mark just gonna one. I'm just going to mark all these holes and that's where we're drilling, guys. We're gonna bam 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 bam. Four of them. Four total. That's it. That's it, right here. I don't think I have to bond this. I think you only bond this if you have the the breaker in there. Then you bond that. Otherwise, it's already it's already whatever. I think I'm gonna have to make sure, Mark, make sure before we hook this up because it was recommended that you set this before you attach it to a, a solid surface in the event that you have to bond this. So we'll have to look at the service manual, it says. Yeah, just to make sure. Plus I'm gonna be shimmed off. What they want, want you to do is make sure that you're able to set the screw all the way. If it's up against the wall too much, maybe you can, I don't know. Only the Sparkies know that. That's why they have the secrets. I really enjoy this in my flip flops. I never knew that this could be so comfortable.
sweet. Man. Sorry, guys. I didn't mean to get y'all dusty. You know what I mean? Probably not supposed to do that anyways. I wouldn't recommend that. That's a rookie mistake. All right, man, how about that? What do you think of that? That's right, Baby Cakes is smiling. She thinks that we're about to have some electric <laughs> electrical very soon. And I'm not gonna take that away from her by telling her the truth. There's four wires, you stick them in that. Bum bum, bum bum, bum bum, just like he said, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The problem is, is I gotta get this into conduit. I really do wanna get this into conduit. Anyways. All right, we're gonna have to go check out outside conditions. It is a rainy day, guys. So this, this actual part right here is going to require us to be outside because I need to hook up the brackets that I made and attach that conduit outside to the wall so that I know how much pipe I need coming through the wall because that's a splice, man. We wanna do it right. We don't want this baby to leak. And if it does, it's my fault. You know what I mean? Just saying. All right then, let's check it out. Aw, huh? got out of my slip slaps. <laughs> That's good to see that you got safer footwear on, babe. Yeah, totally safer for this specific area. All right, so we had a heck of a time getting this conduit on the outside on but we did learn some lessons from it we do have some work still what is that levin well first of all i need to go inside and i need to push this piece of conduit onto the wire and get it outside so it lines up my hole and i don't have to guess all right so we've been waiting for some guests to get here i'm really excited um because we don't get to see them very often and we've missed them so much. Woo! Oh. <laughs> well, that was good. <laughs> nice and loud. <laughs> put that in my face. Don't put the camera in my face, baby cakes. My hair's messy. What up then? All right, it is uh, not the next day, but it's a, day. And it's a new day. It's a new day, guys. It's a new day here on the homestead, and we are back at it. But we have a surprise in store a little bit surprise? later. So you'll just have to wait and see. Yeah, so we've been a little bit cryptic in some of our lives and our videos saying that something's coming up. And today we're gonna reveal what that something is. But first, we got work to do. What's that, babe? Well, the first thing we have to do is find the matching pair to this. How did you lose that? I think maybe it was stolen. <clears throat> By who, the gnomes? I don't know. I'm really surprised that somebody was able to get in here. It was probably from outer space. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because how does it just disappear? Okay, let's look around for this. Can't hit it so hard that it breaks. We ain't doing, I ain't doing nothing. Might just pull it back out. Force this wire on force it back in. Force it out of the hole, Gage. Fire everything. Bent back 
it up and get it straight down. This ladder is totally legit. That is so not legit. It is too legit. You should probably quit. Two inches off that wall is a pretty good set. All right, guys, so we got it set up. We got it plumbed and leveled. We got it pushed through the wall. I got my mounting brackets attached to the wall. We sealed those holes up with some silicone, spaced it off the wall like we did with our panel. We pushed everything back through, attached it, and now I can go on the inside of the house, mark everything so we can cut all that stuff. Yeah, how about that? And look, my brackets are on. Yeah, brackets are on. Where's the electricity? I don't know. I ain't got the power. Where's the juice? The juice is gone, guys. <laughs> the juice is gone. guys so baby cakes told you part way through the video that we had a surprise and that we've been very cryptic lately and she's correct we've been cryptic and it's because we like to keep the surprise right plus there's reasons right why we do the things that we do so we're gonna spill the beans right now if you've been following along from the beginning you will have noticed dad dad was sitting on the side of the house guys so my parents came which is super awesome because we don't get to see them very often. And any chance we get to do that, we're taking it, right? And they were like, hey, we're gonna come out and hang out with you guys for a while. And we were like, cool, come on down. It's only like just a couple states away. That's all I'm saying. So they're here, guys. And we're gonna split up a little bit of that time between working and loving, guys, because the 
parents are in town and we haven't seen them in forever. We'll try to get them to get comfortable with the camera. Maybe we can introduce them formally, but only time will tell, yeah? That's another secret we will keep until then. All right, guys, here we are. Check it out. We got our panel in. It's not done, but there it is. The panel's in, the wire is in the panel, ready to whatever you do next. Sparkies are gonna know what happens next and I'm gonna ask them and they're gonna make sure that I do the right thing. Pretty sure it's hook up the wires and stuff. But you just can't cut that with those cutters that I got, guys. So I'm just gonna do a little research, figure it out, do it right, and then we'll take the next step. All right, guys, so there's a few more things that I gotta do before this is actually ready to be cut and the wires to be hooked up. I wanna find out some important things like torque specs and things like that, the things that I don't personally understand. So once I have a better, better understanding on that stuff, then I can hook up this part right here, guys, which is massive wire, right? And then we can finish burying it and then we can make the connection at the pole, which is our main breaker, huh? learning it guys i'm learning it one sparky at a time teaching me i guess we're gonna wrap this one up man so that we can get started on the next one plus we got crazy days going on we're trying to keep up with all of it and we get so excited because we just know that in another day or so we're gonna be able to hang out with you guys again so we're gonna get after everything else we got to do and we're gonna finish whatever we finish because we i don't know you never know guys whether we're gonna finish anything Right, but we're gonna start something. You can count on that, okay? So if you guys are enjoying our journey, give us a big thumbs up, man, or a regular one. You know what I'm saying? Bam, bam. I already asked you guys once, man. Just wanted to catch you on the way out too to make sure that we don't forget because we like that, guys, and it helps us. And if you guys are really enjoying our content, then you share it, man, because that's like, that's so massive for us, guys. It is like, it is like gasoline for an engine. Without that stuff, we just don't go as far as we we would like to if you don't have enough gas. So every time you guys share, we're thanking you because we love it and it helps us. And if you guys hit that notification bell down there, guys, they're gonna let you know, man, it's a free TV guide. They're gonna let you know that our content is available for viewing. That's so sweet, man, because you don't even have to order or nothing. You push the bell one time, no mailman, the dog ain't barking. It's sweet. You won't even barely know unless it's a chime on your phone, which is sweet too, right? And if you guys aren't already subscribed, right now is a perfect time, guys. I'm about to figure some more stuff out. Maybe if you guys are subscribed, I don't feel like I'm by myself. You know what I mean? It takes a community, guys, all of you and we want you with us, yeah? All right, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. All right, I'm gonna have to say for baby cakes too. Peace, guys, peace.